will be sharing my screen as well. So I just want to welcome everybody who showed up and who will be showing up and who will be watching this later on. This is just simply a Q&A for OutSchool. Um, I joined OutSchool uh, before June ended and um, another fellow teacher you might know, Cynthia Schiller, she was my, so my sponsor. Um, and I think what this, that was the third attempt of <laughs> joining. And I made some critical mis mistakes and why I want people to, to first talk to me before they apply, because what they really want from you is they want you to be super passionate. I mean, especially on your application, they want you to be like bubbly. And what I did is I just did a dummy class. There were no students involved, but I pretended like there were two students. And I was super encouraging, super positive, um, showing them what they would be learning. And I can share that with you guys later uh, as far as what I did. It took me, again, I applied last year and I, I finally got in. But the reason, I just want people to know that OutSchool is not like a savior. It's, it's just another tool for you to, to make money um, and build your profile. Uh, as I was telling Fernando and Amber before is that you're basically an education company. As soon as you become an out school teacher, you're not you're an independent contractor, but you got to think of yourself as a school. And whether you want to brand yourself as you know science, you don't have to do that. Science, math, or English, you don't have to do that. You can do anything. You could teach anything from for kids ages three to eighteen. Um, out school started as a homeschool um, alternative to homeschooling that the homeschool parents could use to you know, supplement their, their existing educational curriculums. But what they found is when the pandemic hit, everybody was staying at home. So people were signing up like crazy, uh, these other classes, and now they've expanded internationally. Um, and I was telling you guys before is that they really help you with not only webinars on training, training is constant and they want you to succeed. So they have business, webinars, they have uh, content webinars, how to improve your titles. You know, there's articles, there's three, three training websites, three support uh, websites for the teachers alone. And, um, and then uh, OutSchool is basically, you can set your time, 30 minutes, an hour, you can have, there's four different, I think there's four or five different methods. There's a one time, we just teach it when you want. There's an ongoing, which you just teach it every week. Like say you're doing math skills and you just, every week you meet and people come and they pay you as, you, as they go. There's, um, God, I can't remember what it's called now. It's like multi, multi class, I think, where it's building. Say I want to, I want kids to learn how to uh, do a children's book. You have to have the basics, right? You need editing, illustration, proofreading, printing. You've got to go to every single Thing to be a part of that group. Um, they have flex, which flexes, um, flexes like you don't have to be present, but there's a lot of work that goes involved with it, where you have to provide them with activities. They actually come to a Zoom meeting and they, they talk amongst themselves. You're not there, but they watch videos, they do homework, and you get paid for that as well. Um, the other thing I was telling Fernando and Amber, I said that you don't get paid per class, you get per, paid by student, they take 30%. So most people charge between 10 and $15 a class. You get charged uh, a 30% fee. So you get $7 to like whatever that is, 10, 50 a class. So people say, well, I'll make, you know, I can make up to $150 an hour, which is true because you, the class size is, is maxed out at 18 students. Um, I have yet to get three just because I'm keeping them small to build my portfolio up because people save your classes and they can save classes and, and if they like you, they can save you. And so um, essentially, let's say you have 10 people in your class, seven times 10, you get $70 for half an hour. That's where the money comes in. If you can build that consistently, you can make a lot of money here, but you have to have the content that they want. Um, another great thing I like about OutSchool is they every week they'll send you out what parents are asking for, what they're searching for. So you can develop your, and adapt your, your, your classes to um, what they want, which is, you know, you can't ask for anything better than that, right? 
The other great thing is, and this is kind of ties into what we've been all going through, we're getting this nervousness. Well, they just announced through a massive email out school that they're getting a higher demand from the Asian market. So maybe people, remember, they have to get their own tutors, I think. They don't go through these companies anymore, so they have to get their own tutors. So now you're seeing the same things that we're doing now, the Asian market is asking for. So there's, you could still do, be doing ESL, but you would be doing to the parent. And you do, you do like we talked about, you, you do set up your own curriculum, and you do talk to the parents, but it's very minuscule. I don't, I don't, I haven't talked, I talked to one parent, I think, and it was, it's not, it's not like you're talking to them all the time. Um, and like, uh, like Q kids with CCT, if you have a problem, they have the same thing. They, they're really quick within a couple of minutes. They'll, you can talk to them live. If something's happening in your class, you can talk to them live, which is amazing. Um, so I was telling Fernando and Am Amber that um, what's really cool is in the fall, they're going to be, they contract with, with the schools and they, um, so a teacher will buy out your class. You're guaranteed, I think it's 18 kids. So that's a good, a good chunk of change right there. If you have something that they, they desire. So you want to probably think about that, kind of focus your, your classes on some kind of educational component so that these kids are, so that your class is in high demand. And then right now, I, I know that's in America, I'm not sure if that's worldwide, but I know that in America, they're gonna be doing that. Um, something I learned just a couple of days ago, which I'm really excited about, is you can do birthday parties. So you can do, a, a, you can market to parents, a birthday, you know, what they do is they have to, they have to pay you, I think the minimum is 10, 10 students, they buy it out. So you mark your price of what you wanna charge. People have gone higher to 18, 10 to 15 is recommended. You could charge whatever you want. Um, I wouldn't go below eight, I think, because it's kind of defeating the purpose because you remember, out school takes seven, uh, 30%. So you have to keep that in mind. There will be a lot of work ahead of time. You got, if you don't have a curriculum or if you don't know how to do curriculums, you can use Google Slides. I'll show you, I use PowerPoint. Um, you set up your class and then, um, but after you do it once, you'll know how to teach your remaining classes, then it's easy. And then you can start. So don't think that you're making $150 an hour without any work. It's not like you kids, you just show up. You do have to put the time in, but that's up to you what you want to teach. If you have a passion for cooking, that's, you know, that's no brainer. I mean, you just, you know, you prove, I'll show you what, how it works. I have an actually class right now. We're going to, we're going to submit it live here and I'm going to show you what that's like. So let me start sharing my screen. Do you have any questions, by the way? Anybody? Nobody? Uh, and Nick, about the content, you told, you told me that you can go to uh, teachers. Yeah, let me put it in teachers. chat. Let me put it in chat. I think it's called teacher to teacher. And where else can you find content uh, besides um, that? You know, I, I just, um, you can just go on the internet. I wouldn't, don't take anything that, I mean, don't take anything word for word, just kind of take something and, and um, you have to be very careful on copyright. Um, one of the things that they do discuss, they have a webinar on copyright and trademarks. Um, in the past, for instance, Lego, you know, the Lego building blocks. Well, people mm -hmm. were saying, you know, let's build something and let with Lego. Well, Lego got pissed and said, you can't use our, our name, um, but here's the great thing about it. They worked with out school and any teacher that prior to them approaching them said, those teachers can continue to use Lego's name, but anybody else from now on cannot do it. Um, they're suggesting that if you say you wanted to do something with a book publisher, say you want to do something with uh, Harry Potter, um, you have to contact the publisher for permission. However, okay. there are a lot of people out there. If you go to out school, you can see a lot of people are using Hello Kitty, Harry Potter, Manga. They're all doing it. I, I don't know if they if they got permission or not. And it's a that's something you have to decide whether you want to go through with that. Um, people just they have conversations about Harry Potter. <laughs> it's amazing what 
some people even play video games with the kids. It, it's really, it's really crazy because there's a high demand for this type of um, learning. You see that the giraffe. So it's just a, it's just uh -huh. a power, it's just a PowerPoint. Uh, my wife, God bless her, is uh, does all my slides for me. She's very happy to do that. Now this is a, this is just a simple drawing class, and what. I, I was thinking about doing it live. I do have a camera specifically set up. I have three cameras, actually. I've got the built-in laptop. <clears throat> I have the built-in laptop. I have another camera on top of that. And I have a camera that's, that hooks over when I'm doing demonstrations. I'll show you that. It's this thing. Well, you can't see it, but it's, you see it? It's got a, it's uh -huh. bent. So it, it's, uh -huh. I, can, I can go ahead and I can do demonstrations with art. I can do it live. Or here, I just did it. I just took pictures of my fingers as I went, and then they just. So that's great. Is it's all pre-done, and this I just reuse this over and over again, and it's it's great. Kids love it. It's a very popular class for me. Um, and then I would say you average about thirty slides. You know, and what I what I would suggest is just. You know, Fernando, finding something that you're passionate about and seeing how you can make that into a class. I approached two Q kids teachers with, who I know they had kids at, my, at the age I was teaching. Um, there's so many great things about OutSchool. OutSchool has this program right now. They have, a, they have, they have different marketing programs. So the current one, I'm going to stop this for a second. So the current one is give out $20, get $20. They pay you to give out 20 to $20 coupons. So you give, let's say Amber has kids and I say, Amber, you, you know, would you take one of my classes? I give you a $20 coupon. It's good for $20 on the, on the platform. And then OutSchool pays me. Um, well, it's a credit, they pay me the credit. So they're constantly trying to help you get, get classes is what they're doing. And um, they'll feature new, new classes on their website. They do a lot of marketing. They do a lot of uh, ads. I hope I'm not going too fast. Let me know if I'm going too fast. No, it's okay. Very good. Thank you. And, and, and this page is, uh, this, this is worldwide, right? Right. It's worldwide. Um, you, they're saying that they're seeing an increased amount from the Asian market, which is exciting. They just spend over backwards to try to help you. And they're so quick and they're so positive and upbeat. Can you see that? Okay. Uh -huh. So I just have a bunch of drawing classes and um, these, are, these are the two new ones, this frog life cycle and plant life cycle. And I can go into this and it's still not listed. And I just go back and I'm, I'm editing as I go. There's, there's see the give 20, get 20. So I can give all of you, uh -huh. I, can, I can give all of you $20 coupon if you have kids and you, you can check out a, a, a check out a class for yourself for free. Um, so you come up with a, you know, a, a, a title, you have a little summary here of what the teacher or the parent can expect. And then you have, here's the different classes. They have one time, which I've only done one time because it's the easiest. Um, multi-day is, um, something that builds on, builds, to, it's not, it's something that like, uh, how to, how to make a toy plane, you know, you have to, you have to go step by step by step. They have to be at every single uh, class. Okay. Yeah. Ongoing is, let's say you're doing math tips. You have a thing on math tips and it's like a, a drop-in center. That's basically what it is. They, they come as they want, they pay as they go. And you just have one every week. And that's a good way to think build rapport, rapport with teachers, with, I'm sorry, parents and build, getting them to come back again and again. And then a flexible schedule is you don't have to be there, but there is still a lot of work that goes into it. And they'll, they'll cover all of this. The other thing, are any of you in that, in the beginning, Q kids, beginners, new teachers, groups? No? Well, OutSchool is very good. They have a, they call it a cohort. And anybody, if right now they, they got one going on right now, it's, it's I believe it's um, August, September, October. It's a three-month cohort, and it's all newbies. So you don't feel, 
you know, awkward for asking a dumb question. And then they have people in there that will answer your questions and help you uh, with all this stuff. They have an excellent training program. And, uh, and so then the way it works like right now, which, which I love, I don't have to, pres I don't have to give them my whole class to get this approved. I just have to fill this all out, provide them with an image, and then talk about you know what my age range is, um, how many learners I want. Um, the course will meet one time per week. I'm making this short. I usually do 45 minutes. This one's gonna be shorter, 25 minutes. And um, this is just whether you want to say if you're English or not. And then I just go in and do a description talk about what they're gonna learn. And then um, I can also recommend another class to take if I wanted to. So if they wanted to take a giraffe class, which is like a little marketing thing, you can tell them that, hey, I have this class coming up. And then, um, you know, what materials they need and that type of thing. And now what I'll do, mark your price. They'll tell you how much you can earn per class. So this one could, you could earn up to $63 per class for eight, that's eight, that's 30 minutes. Um, the hope is of course to get fully booked. And, and if they see that you're not booking classes, they'll send out emails to you and they'll say, hey, we noticed you're not getting a lot of enrollments. Check this out, check this out. Um, and then right now I'm ready to go with this. I'm just gonna go ahead and request listing. All right, and now I just wait. And sometimes it's a day, sometimes it's like, 40 minutes, sometimes it's 10 minutes. They let you know if it's going to be approved or not. And then that's it. You have a nice dashboard. You have a teacher's dashboard. Um, and then it tells you your ratings. And um, so if I go to profile, you write a little blurb about yourself and and then you go so, down. So that's how you, that, that's how you market yourself with what do you do especially to market yourself I, you know, to I, 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 I would believe that there's a lot of uh drawing teachers or so how do you stand so to be honest with you i haven't marketed yet and the, the class will appear on the site and i'm not that's probably why i'm not getting multiple you know you know, I'm not getting lots of kids right now because I haven't done it. I've, I'm so overwhelmed with two kids right now that I'm so burned out from that that I just haven't put as much time into this. What I'm doing is getting ready for the fall. That's the way I look at it. I'm going in now and figuring all the little intro, in, um, what's that word? It, it was synchronous, synchronous, <laughs> you know that word? Mm -hmm. All the little crazy things. So that I'm, when fall comes, I'm ready to go. And I'll have like, by the time fall gets here, I'll have like 20 classes to choose from. So I'm not, right now, I'm just looking at May is, or this this um, summer is learning as much as I can about the platform. And from what I've seen so far, the platform is just, they're really just a class A organization. They really want you to succeed. And, um, and then, so then you go into your schedule, you can, you can, if you want to set up, you can go in by week and set up your, your classes this way. Or if you wanted to go, say you wanted to have a monthly class, you could, you could do it this way. It's real nice. They really do a nice job of... It's a, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a very, very good platform. Yeah, they make a really nice way of making things work for you. Um, yeah. And just like I said before, I just haven't really fully done a full-blown marketing effort. Um, just because I'm kind of feeling my way around a little bit still. And I haven't completed the training yet. I still have more training to do, but uh, it's, but it's like I said, it's never, it's never ending. The training's always there. It's always trying to help you succeed. But what I was like, I, you saw how easy that page was. I just put, submitted a picture and a description and some other information. The content you'll do later. So you can keep on submitting classes. You can submit 20 classes and just worry about the content later. Schedule two weeks out or a week out. Sometimes I schedule three days out. Um, but the longer you do it, the more I think they have a chance to market you. But then it's like anything else. Like, you know, 
if you're if you're a book if you're a book writer, how do you market yourself? Well, you've got to join all these different Facebook groups. You've got to do Instagram. You've got to do it's 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 just like that. You still have to market yourself, but OutSchool does a really great job of bringing people to you. And um, there's little tricks, like one webinar to, the woman told me when you're first starting out, they'll they'll uh, say, well, if you keep your kids to if you keep your spots open to just three people automatically will say only three spots remaining you know how people get oh there's only three spots remaining i'm gonna go in there and and join so that's like a little thing that they do um that's a good trick yeah a little a couple of things like that that they'll do like i said is i'm this i'm not saying you're gonna get rich although one guy he was in our cohort he was a math teacher and so we're doing like this update how are people doing well i i'm doing really well I, i've earned eleven thousand dollars so far in three months like what? what and he's a math teacher and he just gives out math instruction he's got his classes are full so you really have to pay attention to what's in demand and kind of I'm, I'm running out of time here but go back to the facebook group and um i think they're going to let me out another 15 minutes but go back to the facebook group if you have any other questions and i'll i'll be there but um yeah so there so there are people making lots of money and right now, um, like there's another woman that's doing, she has 60 classes right now. And she just kind of plays around with it, sees what's working, what's not working. And, and if one isn't working at all, she'll replace it with one that's working and see how it does. To be honest, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's, like, your, it's like your own little company, or like a, your own little school. It is a lot of work in the beginning, but only just to get ramped up. Like right now, I feel very comfortable with, with submitting classes it's not it's not tedious for me at all that was very simple you just saw me do i just posted a picture added some text and then submitted it they'll come back they'll say okay um this needs to be reworded or um thankfully they haven't rejected any, any of my classes yet so um but they'll they'll tell you like you know what needs to be changed and um the other thing i want, I want you all to know and i'm gonna that's why i want to say this before i leave is that when you're doing your application, um, you don't have to have a, B, a BABS degree. So if you've worked with kids education. before, if you work with kids, even if you've been a volunteer and you've gone to libraries and read books, even if you um, have helped out at the Boy Scouts, even if you've um, church groups, that type of thing, keep your video as passionate as possible, follow the directions. I didn't follow the directions. I can't believe I was so stupid. Um, I had a window behind me because I didn't want to, I had two kids behind me. I had my whole two kids set up. So I thought, well, I'll go somewhere in my house. And I picked a window of all things. And there was a, <laughs> said no windows behind you. And I got rejected. And, um, and so keep it, keep it clean, nice background, upbeat, smile a lot, look into the camera. The other thing is really important is your camera has to be eye level with when you're mm -hmm. talking to the kids don't if, if it's down here don't be looking down here don't look off to the side make eye contact with the, with the camera um upbeat smile passion they want you to be super passionate for the for the uh, application and um you'll hear back really quickly um and if not you can reapply i, I reapplied twice i mean i got in my third time um I just you know, I just ignored it after a while after I got I kind of got rejected and I thought oh man how can they reject me and, and then um, you know I'm so happy that I'm here because they just they'll make you a better teacher what they do mm -hmm. they make you a better teacher because of all the training they really push the training there's required training you get to do before you become before you can teach they'll, there's a, several modules that you have to complete. There's no demo aside from the application video that you pr provide. There's no demo, like you know how with two kids you have to do a demo and um, I forget what else. Mock classes you don't have to do anything like that. Um, and again, you can teach whatever you want. Um, this is just one tool that I can use. There are many others, but um, just you know. And I don't want people to think that yeah, I'm gonna make 150 bucks an hour. You still have to work at it. You have to build your clientele. You have to um, get your reviews. 
positive reviews are very important. Teacher or not teacher, parent. I, I after every class, I thank the parent. I said, if you have any more classes you want to take, you know, I pass out those coupons to people. And that's really what it is. A lot of word of mouth. Um, and then that Facebook group that I'm setting up, I'm hoping to do like a weekly coffee hour type of thing. And they can just, if you, let's say you have an idea, but you're not really sure where to go with it. I'm hoping that we can get a small group of people that are, that are committed to each other that can provide that, you know, that bounce back um, of ideas. I'm, I'm, I'm like that. I, I, I'm like, should I do this or should I do that? I'm not sure. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. I've got only four minutes left. Is there any other questions you have? Nick, uh, they're only kids from three to 18 years old, right? No, they have no plans of doing adults, although they've been asked several times. I've been focusing on the younger kids, like five to eight or nine. But I also gonna, I also will be doing some improv classes, which will be geared to the older kids. The other thing you can do is you can in Zoom you can do um, groups or not groups. What's it called? Breakout rooms. Let's say you have eighteen kids. <laughs> like oh, what am I gonna do? Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, and you but you're like overwhelmed. Well, you can send out four kids, you know, four kids to a group, and they can do a project with themselves. You can check on them if you want, pop in and out, bring them back together. And that's great because that could take up 15 minutes of your class and you'd be, you know, so there's just little things like that that you can do that um, and try to get up to speed on Zoom. I, I'm still not fully, fully there yet. <laughs> so there's still things I don't know how to do, but um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, yeah, but for curriculum, I just, the best thing to do is do what you know. They are, remember, we, we've been doing ESL for, you know, how many years you've been doing this. Um, market to the Chinese families, you know, do something there. If they, you know, they like to spend money too. So I think they're, if this situation goes south where we hope it doesn't, they'll be looking for supplemental private tutoring private tutoring. Nick, and what are your thoughts about, uh, you're talking about cute kids now. Um, do you think what are the probabilities that they're, that we're going to close? Um, cute kids, I've, I've dealt with the, the uh, founder before, and he's really sharp. Um, they're positioned really well. I don't know much about VIP kid. I think they, VIP kid has more teachers than us, but Cute Kids is a very smart company. I think they will adapt. I don't know much about the political part of it, but I know that they're very, they're, they're, they're a good company that, um, and what I love about him, the one I spoke with is that he really cares about the teachers. He really does. That's right. And so, and I, I think that's the staff really, really love you guys and they really care about you. And that's why I think they're, Everyone's saying, well, I want tr transparency. I want transparency. Well, believe it. They're, they're working their butts off to try and figure this out. I guarantee you. And they're not thinking about themselves. They're thinking about how to, can we save this? I know they are. And um, okay. so just, just be positive. Um, you know, you might want to take out some extra classes if you don't normally teach, if you're worried about that. But I think just, just stay positive and um, I'm sure it'll, it'll all work out. And if not, okay. if not, there are other opportunities out there. And like I said, I won't talk about it today, but there's another, there's two other opportunities. I have passive income that come in every month. I don't even lift a finger. And um, I'll talk about that back in the room. Uh, I've only got a minute left. So I'm going to just stop recording now and. <laughs>